Hello Fish Fifa, welcome to a Team of Season Lichtensteiner review. If you'd like to buy some coins and check out UT Coins Direct, the link is in the description. Right now getting on to Lichtensteiner, he's been converted from a right back to a right mid and he's 87 rated. 88 pace, 69 shooting, 87 passing, 82 dribbling, 85 defending and 81 heading. 6 foot with, four, uh, with 3 star weak foot, 2 star skill moves. Uh, 3 goals in the 4 games and I paid 230k. And please do leave a like because it was tricky to get him, I'm going to make a huge loss on him as well. I paid 230 on PS3, he's going for about 200k now. But I wanted to get this review out to you guys as quick as possible. So looking at them in-game stats, look at them. 93 crossing, 93 curve on there as well. So many to name, and most of them are in the green. Obviously that 46 finishing looks terrible. 77 free kick accuracy, 79 penalties. He's got 89 short passing, some very good stats there. And slime tackle and standing tackle are very good as well. But that is because he um, used to be a right back. But um, you can see his work rates are high, medium, which are decent for a right mid, to be honest. Really cannot complain. And look at them physical attributes as well. 88 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, 83 strength as well. So he does look like a fantastic player. But does he play like it, guys? That is what we're going to find out this episode. So um, look at that. There's a few, uh, quite, no, quite a nice little shot from him. Um, he does have some good shot power and long shot stats as well. But this is what you want to do with this guy. Look at this. Call me sweaty. Call me a bitch. It's just look at it. You can just run up, cross it in. And if you have good strikers in there like Cavani, uh, Leandro, Damiel. Uh, my favourite player in the game is Damiel. Uh, you could have him in there and just cross it into him. And if they can get the headers. It's just such a joy to use Lichtenstein. I've run up that right mid. Just look at this pace. He's burning past David Luiz there. And then he can pick out a good cross in with his 93 crossing. It's very good crossing. And look at that. It just sets up a nice goal there for Ibarbo. So I mean, it is very good to use him. Look, he picks up the ball there, and a lot, a lot of the times that I've noticed, um, when your keeper has the ball and you're ready to throw it out, your right mid and left mid um, are um, like um, very open normally. So you can easily throw it out to Lichtenstein, and he can just run with the ball. He can breeze past players with his pace and his ball control as well. Look, he's just gone past David Luiz again there, crossed it in, and Cavani manages to score that header as well. So it's just fantastic to use him. Look at this, you can see that um, gap in the defence there, and he's going to try and he's going to head for that gap in the defence as well. He's going to take it out wide and then just cross it in. Such a cheap, easy tactic, and it does work a lot of the times. I came up against um, two Brazilian sides, I think it was, um, in these in uh, the games you're seeing now. And Lichten is burning past Marcelo there, and it uh, does a nice little double touch there, and it can find a cross in. Unfortunately, uh, nothing comes of it that time, but you can create plenty of opportunities with him. Here's a shot from him, Lichtenstein, on his left foot, three-star weak foot. I didn't find to be a trouble at all. He's not really your shooting sort of player. You could obviously take the long shots. He's got fantastic shooting stats as well. Uh, not his finishing stats, though, but he does get a couple of goals. You'll see a nice free kick from him later on as well. But look, two-star skills. He can do step-overs, so <laughs> it's not great, to be honest. Two-star skills, step-overs can help you out a lot so I did use them a lot um, a very nice little bit of play here but it does get um, crunched at the end but um, he could do with at least three star skills to do roulettes four star would be absolutely amazing um, and then he could do like chops and things like that but you can just see a nice little golf from him there um, it says 46 finishing but he managed to finish off that one nicely uh, this is quite a nice little clip as well um, it keeps it in and costs it in not the best cross that time but um, he was under pressure and uh, he just makes these dart and runs and left foot, I don't know why he took it on his left but he um, managed to be saved. So um, positives, the main positives about him are obviously that pace. Look at him blistering up that hand, right hand side. And he's going to do that for you all game long and create chances. He actually wins a free kick that time. This is fantastic, look. He's just going past everyone there. That's Butner and Basong I think that is. So they're not the slowest players in the world. Uh, doesn't manage to pick up Cavani that time because of good defending. But um, he can just do it so well, like so, so well. Uh, absolute joy to use, and you can just see that shot from him there as well. So um, it would be better if he was uh, left footed, but he's not, unfortunately. Look at that free kick as well, 93 curves going to help him out to score them free kicks. Very nice free kick indeed there, and um, he does manage to get one more goal, I believe it is. But um, positives for him now are obviously that crossing. 93 crossing, he can definitely pick out your target man in the box. Cavani um, is definitely a fantastic player to use with him. Uh, his pace blistering up that right hand side. He's got good defending as well. 85 defending I think it was. And that is um, largely due to be, um, him being a default right back. His three kicks I found to be very good. Negatives, two star skill moves. And he's obviously got that bitch of a name to spell. Overall rating on 9 out of 10. Definitely try him out if you're a sweaty son of a bitch and like to cross the ball in.